Hi, in the previous presentation, which was on Spring Framework introduction, you have learned that Spring is a dependency injection mechanism that ties the different layers of the J2W web application together. Today, you will learn two other important goals that Spring delivers, which made it such an important framework in the J2W world. Number one, Spring provides your applications with wrapper or helper classes, which when used, makes it really easy for your application code to use the underlying Java or J2W APIs. A good example here would be the JDBC API, the Java Database Connectivity API. Spring provides several JDBC template classes, which wrap the JDBC API, and which when you inject, when you inject these JDBC template classes into your data access layer, like your DAOs, data access layer objects. These database access layer objects then need not worry about creating a JDBC connection, creating a JDBC statement class. They can straight away invoke the methods on the JDBC template class and the JDBC template class will handle the creating the connection, creating the statement, executing the SQL statements and then fetching the result back and handling them over to the DAO. So Spring provides your applications with wrapper or helper classes, which when you use, makes it easy to use the underlying Java or J2W APIs. The second goal, another goal that Spring delivers is it provides implementations for several J2W frameworks or standards. So if the Spring developer community thinks that an existing J2W standard has been implemented in a complex way for the developers, then they come up with the complete implementation of this standard. And a good, a good example for that would be the MVC framework. The Spring developer community thought that the Strux framework, which is a famous MVC implementation, is complex to use or complex to configure. So Spring came up with their own implementation, Spring MVC implementation, which is fairly easy to configure. It's very easy to inject your model classes, it's easy to configure your views and also to configure the controller servlet using Spring configuration. Spring also provides implementations across several other J2W standards. For example, Spring provides an implementation for web services, the JAX WS standard, if you remember from the web services presentation. So Spring implements the Java API for XML based web services. It also provides an implementation for JMS Java messaging standard or Java messaging services to name a few examples. I will present the details of each of these. I'll show you how to configure Spring for web services or JMS when I deal with these topics in the future. But for now, you, what you need to remember is along with the dependency injection, the inversion of control and using POJOs, plain old Java objects, Spring also delivers two other important goals. One being Spring provides helper or wrapper classes which can, which when used in your application code, hides the complexity of the underlying Java or J2W APIs. Two, Spring also provides a complete implementation for an existing J2W standard or J2W framework if the Spring developer community thinks that the current implementations of the standard are complex to use by the developers. In the next two hands-on presentations, you will learn how to configure Spring for your applications using XML configuration as well as annotations. Until then, keep sharing and learning. Thanks for watching.